It's actually robbed her of her childhood. She's afraid to leave the house. She's afraid to go to the grocery store. That right there, the aunt of a middle school girl who says she was bullied and attacked at school. The girl's mother is now suing the Centennial School District for a million dollars in damages, saying it failed to keep her daughter safe. The family says the seventh grader was sent to the hospital twice, first for a broken wrist and later for a concussion. The lawsuit claims the district was negligent. Reporter Evan Watson has been looking into this story and joins us with details. Evan. Ashley, should the school district be liable for bullying and attacks at school? A mother of a Centennial Middle School student says yes, the district didn't do enough to keep her daughter safe and it didn't punish her alleged attackers severely enough. In a new lawsuit, a mother is suing the Centennial School District, saying her daughter was bullied and attacked multiple times at school. These videos are part of the evidence the family is citing in the lawsuit. They say the seventh grade girl was attacked multiple times, months apart. She went to the hospital twice, first for a broken wrist and later for a concussion. She's t literally terrified to do anything or go anywhere. And even after switching to a new school and trying again, like, OK, this happened. We're going to try and get past it. Um, the cyberbullying just continued and they found her there. That's Emily James, the girl's aunt who's speaking on behalf of the family. She says they're now homeschooling her niece, who takes special education classes for a learning disability. She's having suicidal ideation, self-harm talk, um, and it's scary. And if she is struggling this bad and she has support, what about the students that don't have support? The lawsuit says the Centennial School District did little to punish the girl's alleged attackers and failed to create an adequate safety plan for her return to school. What broke my heart was doing the research on bullying that leads to suicide and how many children have to die before we change something like when do those numbers matter because they're staggering james says the social media bullying has been worse than the alleged assaults saying her niece has been the target of death threats mocking posts and messages what do we need to do for the future to change laws or change whatever is happening so that this doesn't continue to get worse. A spokesperson for the Centennial School District says the lawsuit involves a minor, so the district can't give more details at this time. In a statement, the district says it remains focused on the academic and social well-being of students and is committed to ensuring they have a safe and secure learning environment. Ashley. Evan, thank you.